So we just took a canvas like this that was 90% off at Hobby Lobby and we turned it into something like this. Absolutely stinking gorgeous. Hey y'all, welcome back to Not My Craft Castle. Today we are sitting in my dining room. I decided to switch up the locations because we're doing more of like a really fun DIY craft for our home decorations versus, you know, being crafty with the cricket or the laser, you know, and things of that nature. So I decided to bring you into my home so I can show you that I can craft anywhere. Okay, so the fun, super fun part portion of this project is, is I am just taking some clearance Hobby Lobby frames. These ones were the on sale ones for 90% off the spring, the spring shop collection. These were 90% off. So they originally $32.00. 90% off such a steal I got two of these the reason for this and it's like perfect timing I totally did not plan this but perfect timing so it was my son's 10th birthday recently and we all know I have like a really large format printer 24 inches wide I can make these really really cool prints this year he wanted a GTA or Grand Theft Auto theme and I made a really cool poster. This is made out of canvas, so it's waterproof, weatherproof. But anyways, it's the same canvas that you would do for like these prints right here. We have this one, and then if we keep rolling it out, it says happy 10th birthday. But then on the other side, there's another print right here. Oh, these are edited photos that I have done of him. I took these photos and edited them, then I printed it out on this really large canvas. Now, the problem with doing decorations like this is it's like one time use right it says happy 10th birthday right here you know you could probably purchase this with just a happy birthday and you could reuse it year after year but because i'm the queen of party decorations we don't ever reuse party decorations here so i was kind of bummed when he requested this theme and then he wanted a big poster was what am i going to do to repurpose this and i figured it out i just took i'm going to take these 90 percent off canvas wrapped frames I'm gonna take it off there and I'm gonna repurpose this, cut it out, and I'm gonna gallery wrap them and so they can be bedroom decor for him. I know, mind blown. Okay, so the coolest thing about this is yes, I do sell these types of banners in my shop. If you have in the previous past have purchased a graduation one or a new baby one or any one of these long posters that have one of your kids' pictures on these, you can totally do this DIY because you already have the print. Now the beauty of this as well is, is if you don't have a print but you've been wanting one, you can get it from me obviously, but you also can get the same type of fabric at Staples or Vistaprint, anything like that. You can get it printed on a canvas type material and then you can just go and get a really cheap on clearance canvas wrapped frame and do this DIY project yourself. I'm sure you can buy a canvas wrapped picture. We have them around my house as well, but it is significantly a lot of money if you do it that way versus DIY. I mean, obviously DIY is always so much more fun than buying something on hand. Okay, so obviously for this DIY, you are going to need a big canvas print of your choice any size so if you have a 12 i have i purchased because this was on clearance i purchased like a whole bunch of different sizes so you're just going to want to find a size that will fit your actual print for this project you're also going to need a like a staple gun with some staples don't forget that you're going to need some pliers and then like a, a flathead screwdriver or, or a knife or anything that we're going to be able to get underneath these and we're going to pull this apart so we're going to start working on this you're also going to need a pen or pencil just to trace around the actual print. And then, oh, you know what? I forgot. I forgot some scissors. You are going to need some scissors for this project too. So let's get started. Okay, step one of this entire process is taking out the little nails or the staples of your canvas. Be careful when you're doing this and don't punch your finger um, when you're using this flat head. Oh my goodness, it's hard. Some of these are gonna be a little bit harder than others. You just wanna go underneath, try and get underneath that, and then just pull right up. And then when you pull it up, just take your pliers and pull out your staple. And then just continue going, and we're gonna take out all of the staples through the entire canvas. This one right here, actually, this thing has some hangers, so I'm just gonna take my screwdriver and take these out and place these to the side. We'll, I'll probably use them later when we're done 
rewrapping this. Okay, what I found to be the most helpful is by going underneath the canvas, I like kind of lift it up with my hand and then I also put my little screwdriver on and so I'm already getting a little bit of leverage when it comes up and I'm just pushing down, there we go, and it's coming out so much easier. Don't leave these staples in the canvas because we are going to need to trace this later. So make sure you take out all of the staples or the nails that are in the original canvas and just set those over to the side uh, for garbage. That way it doesn't ruin your actual print later, the one that you're replacing. You're getting a warm workout for sure when you're doing this. Oh man, missed one. <laughs> I thought I was done and I missed one. All right, now that that's done, we can just set aside the wood frame that was the original wood frame. Shake out all those extras. So the next thing you wanna do is just take the print that you'll be using. I'm gonna be using that poster like I had said earlier. And all you're gonna do is just lay out the original print. And I, it's actually fairly the same size. Like we only have like a little bit of uh, overhang of the black originally. So all I'm gonna do is now just take a pair of scissors. Because it's almost the same size, I'm not going to use a pencil. But what I would suggest if you are cutting out something that's larger is just take a pencil and cut and mark your line and then go back in and cut. But because I feel like this is almost the same size. It'll be okay if I just do this. If we have to cut it later, we totally can. You just probably need an exacto knife or something sharp to cut the extras off your canvas on the later. There is that. We're gonna set aside this because we only need one for right now. And we really don't even need this old canvas anymore because we have our new print. So this is gonna be the new canvas. I'm gonna take that. There is obviously going to be a front and a back side. This is the back side where I'm going to re-staple all the staples in. Make sure that the front is obviously facing up for you. Put that here. And I am going to readjust this onto the canvas. Right now it doesn't need to be tight, but you just wanna make sure that whatever it is that is gonna be the focal point of your actual canvas, that is what you're gonna be using. And then obviously you're gonna to wanna to make sure that like the ends of your wood is fully covered. Covered. We're gonna cover it like that. So it looks like it's going to be mostly like that. We're just gonna have a little bit over here of the hanging of the, the letters. I'm sure that will be okay. So now that we have that kind of figured out, wanna make sure that we get mostly, like do you want less? We're gonna bend this down over past the, the wood. I mean, this is gonna look cute, right? Okay, so now that we have that, the starting point that I've already determined is going to be this lip right here because it's going to be the smallest of them. So I'm gonna flip this around. And because this is a straight line, I'm just gonna line this up with a piece of wood. Don't put it on crooked. Do you wanna make sure and do it straight or it's gonna look really funny. And we're just gonna line this up as straight as possible. If you wanted to, you could go all the way to the edge. That would be pretty straight because all frames are straight. You could do that. But you know what? Let's do that just to make it real easy. Taking your little staple gun. You don't have to pull tight right now. You just have to make sure that it's straight. We will pull tight here in a second when we go to the other side. But make sure that it's straight. Push it in there. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna make sure it's straight on this side. Again, we don't have to worry about pulling tight. We just wanna make sure that our initial line is straight. Everything else is good. I'm gonna roll this back just a little bit, making sure the entire line is straight. There we go. We can go back in later and add more staples as we go, but this is a good starting point. We got four in there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push with my left hand, I'm gonna push away from me and also with my right hand, pull the canvas up just a little bit and we're doing it tight. See how this right here, we act, I actually cut it a little bit too short, which is fine, that's okay. At least it's covering the entire base or the wrap of the, gal of the wood frame. All I'm gonna do is just take my little gun, try and get it in there. Missed it. Whoops again my goodness gracious all right you know what we're gonna do we're gonna take this out and we're gonna make it a little bit shorter because this right here is too short i think all i'm gonna be doing is missing it like crazy we're gonna try this again and we're just gonna make it a little bit shorter so our nails or our brads will hit the next one i'm gonna try and line up the staples to the original holes that i just did so it doesn't get all ruined on the back side which i mean no one's going to see it anyways but it would just be nice to know that it's not ruined on the back again not worried about being tight we just want to make sure that this first line is even. Now let's throw this around. We'll do it again. Still doing the same motion. Pushing and pulling up. And look at that. We have <laughs> we have more. So that's good. Sure we won't miss. All right. I'm just going to throw one in here right in the middle. 
There we go. And then doing the same thing, we're just gonna go to the corner and we're just gonna pull tight. The whole point about doing a gallery wrap is to make it very tight. Go here to the other corner, pulling tight. Okay, I'm gonna leave these flaps up just in case if we decide that we need to take it out, it's less nails to take out later. Same thing with this. Do you see how this right here looked like it was like folded in the middle? That's kind of what we wanna do. It's just a clean edge, so pulling tight. I'm for mine. I actually have a little brad right here. That's going to go into the gallery wrap and I don't want that. So I'm just going to trim it off and just cut that little brad off. So I'm going to do one in the middle first, pulling tight and doing one in the middle. All right, put this around real quick. Look at how cute it's turning out super cute. Now, before I do anything on the other end, I'm also going to do the same. I'm just going to pull this and do one in the middle, just like we did on the other side. Before we continue stapling, this is going to be your finished canvas. So if you don't like the look of your finished canvas, then stop what you're doing, take the nails out, and, and then just start the process over again like we did originally. This right here, the unfortunate part about this is that the letters of the poster are hanging over. That was just due to design. Wasn't anything more that I could possibly have done with that besides probably not designed a poster that had a border in it, but GTA does have like that billboard stuff. So it is what it is on this aspect, but like that still looks really good to me for a 10 year old's little boy's room. Now you're just gonna nicely tuck in these corners. My corners are gonna look different than the uh, original canvas, that's okay. But I will show you what the corner looks like here in a second. And the corners actually, like that looks really good. That corner looks really good. I like that corner. Now up here, it looks kind of funky, looks like a funky monkey, but that's okay because it's on the back. So it's not that bad, but that corner looks really good. So doing the same thing, you just kind of want to make nice, cute little corner. Be mindful when you're doing that too, to also pull your canvas as well, keeping it tight. You don't want a droopy canvas. So we're pulling it tight. There we go. We just need to put a couple more in here. Awesome. Okay, so we got that corner done. We're gonna go back into this corner right here, do the same process. I'm gonna keep the extra on there. I'll probably end up trimming just a little bit here in a, in a little bit, but just to keep it there, I think is fine. Just tuck the corners like we have been. I got a, another brad right here at the very top. I did one on the top and one on the bottom. So just take that brad off again. Just keep on with your corners. Okay, and then just go back in wherever it is on your canvas that you left open. Like this right here still hasn't been stapled down. So you definitely want to get those stapled down, pulling tight and staple it in there. All right, first canvas is done. Look at that, look how cute that turned out. So we just took a canvas like this that was 90% off at Hobby Lobby and we turned it into something like this. Absolutely stinking gorgeous. I think this is going to pair well with my gamer son's bedroom theme, which is all games, and it's a picture of him in GTA format. Okay, so now, you know, I've actually lost where those holes were for the original brads right here, so I'm just gonna drill my own holes and I'm gonna put them towards the top. This is the top, correct? Yep, wanna make sure we put it in the correct area. Awesome, there we go. That was being a little bit of a turn but we got it figured out. There would probably help if you had a battery operated screwdriver just to make this go by really fast, but I don't wanna go and find my husband. So we just use a regular flathead screwdriver. Then going back, these things are super important that you put them on the same, at the same length and level as the other one. Otherwise that's gonna be a pain in the butt to try and get this level. All right, y'all, there you have it. A finished gallery wrapped custom sign. All right, I am going to do the other one all by myself, but I I sure hope I inspired you to at least DIY and try. I will see you later.